yeah, he's going to be on the losing end of a lot of legislative battles in the next year or so. Peter, I'll give you the last word on this segment. Governor, unions, who wins? Right now, I, I think um, both actually lose. I don't think anyone actually wins in this in this situation because we're going to see this vicious cycle year after year until, you know, the governor needs to become a leader and stand up. You know, love him, hate him, but Chris Christie, one thing you can always say is that Chris Christie did what he felt was right regardless of what people thought. We're missing Chris Christie now. I'm not, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not missing him. What I am saying yeah, is that it's just like... Are. Chris Christie did say, you guys are going to miss me when I'm gone. Are you going to go? That's what, what might be coming true. But what I would like to see this governor to become as less of a politician, more of a policymaker. So it's easy to be, become a politician, try to please everyone, but becoming a policymaker where you're going to set an agenda, stick to it, that's what we need here in New Jersey. Well, I would argue that he needs to be more of a leader and less of a CEO that delegates. Because clearly, going back to New Jersey Transit, the delegation factor of, oh, let's put you in charge or put somebody great in charge, go off and run it, and nothing's happened. Yeah. So New Jersey Transit.